turn off the car and pass me the keys, please? A head, R tail. Okay. <laughs> this is tail, right? Yeah. So really, 23. Michael Jordan. <laughs> I. So I got too too fast for. Let me write this down. Too fast for conditions. Rec is it Riders? reckless? For, yeah, you can do reckless. Do me a favor and step out of the vehicle for me. Put the phone down. Why am I doing this? Step out of the vehicle. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. <laughs> It's important to look at the timeline, so let's break that down. The arrest happened on April 7th. The driver, Sarah Webb, didn't know about the coin flip until the 11 Live investigators told her she got that video on July 6th. Three days later, on the 9th, we had a crew inside court when the charges were dismissed. It was that same day when officers Brown and Wilson were officially placed on leave 93 days after the arrest and after 11 Live Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe started asking questions about the officers involved in the video. And over the weekend, Roswell Mayor Lori Henry posted her reaction to the video on Facebook, calling the officers' actions inexcusable and unprofessional. She posted in part, I want to assure our residents that I expect our police officers to adhere to the highest professional standards in their work and that the actions of these two officers are unacceptable to me and will not be tolerated by the city of Roswell. And this afternoon, Brendan Keefe talked with the chief of police. Brendan, what did he say about that timeline from when the arrest happened to when the officers were placed on leave? 93 days is an awfully long time. Yeah, you'd have to believe there's like a 93 to 1 chance that this was a coincidence, that the day we show up in court with a camera is the day that these officers are taken off the street. But the police chief says that's exactly what happened. He said that our involvement in asking questions had nothing to do with it, even though no one told the defendant until we told her that her freedom was in the hands, essentially, of a game of chance. And we were the ones who helped her get the video, the video that has now been seen around the world. Here's what we asked the chief this afternoon. From a personal standpoint, from a leadership standpoint, is it concerning to you that an investigative reporter from 11 Alive knew about this coin flip case before you did? Well, I don't know when, when you knew about it. So, before, so, Ju so, before June 28th. So, so yes, that, that, does, that does concern me. It concerns me that I learned uh, on June 28th that was, that was several months after the investigation. Had you not been made aware sooner, then I would have been concerned anyway. So the fact that you knew before I do is, is that, that's not really that, that, that is not the concern. The concern is that it took me that long to, to learn about it and that, that someone would, would come to you and not, not come to me or someone else in the chain of command. Yeah, but I'm told that actually the chain of command was informed about this, at least up to the level of lieutenant. Also, we're told by multiple sources in the department now that multiple officers viewed this video, one officer viewing it at one point at least more than 10 times, that essentially it was entertainment for some officers. But remember, it was a good police officer, a police officer who was concerned about integrity, who brought this to us. The chief says he calls that officer a good officer, even though an email was sent out to all officers a couple of weeks ago warning them that this was an act of sedition and mutinous behavior if they were to talk to me about any more cases. Guys? Very interesting developments, Brendan. Thank you. We will continue to push the city and the police department for more answers. In the meantime, you can see Brendan's full investigation at 11alive.com along with the full seven-minute video of the arrest. Just look for the story on our homepage.